So I'm filming this video uh, just in um, while I'm waiting for my render farm video to uh, just kind of install like well it's just putting Lumion on that server you can actually see it in the bottom right here um, so hopefully that video will be coming out before this one um, but I did want to just focus on something quickly so I often see people with Lumion just turn on precipitation to use snow and they, they don't remove their 3d grass which in my opinion really does not look right um, I don't know why people do this. Maybe it's like people don't realize that there is actually ways to get snow in Lumion. Um, I will just quickly show something with the 3D grass though. So if we put on wild grass here, um, it, this is just the Lumion 11 snow scene. So if we say, okay, uh, we go to the photo and then on precipitations on here, I'm just going to adjust some of these things so we can see it a little better. Um, maybe I, I'm actually just going to take a new shot and I'm only going to put on precipitation for now just because I don't want any of those other effects to kind of make it hard to see. So if we go to precipitation, uh, we go to snow, and then this is kind of what you get. Now, the ground is white, but this does not look correct in my opinion. It's, you know, the grass would be dead. Like you wouldn't have this kind of like, it almost looks like someone just spray painted um, the field, which if you're making a soccer field, by the way, this is actually how I would recommend um, kind of changing that is like you just make it white 3D grass, not necessarily with the snow, but yeah, that's that kind of what I would recommend you do because this looks like a spray paint. Like this isn't, like, this doesn't look right. If I actually throw on maybe sharpen, we might be able to see it a little better. Um, that is sharpen. So yeah, I'll just crank this all the way up so you can kind of see. Like th there are these individual blades of grass, and you just wouldn't see that. Like it, that's just not how snow works, obviously. So what you can do is um, you can either. Um, you can just remove the 3D grass um, so that there's like, it's just like a flat white color and then you can let the precipitation fall on top of it. So I'll do that first. Um, I was assuming that this would be probably one of the easiest ones to do. If we hop back in here, then you turn on precipitation. As you can see, now you have a flat snow plane, um, but there is some other things that you can do to give this kind of like more texture, I guess. Um, you can go to soil. And now what they actually did for this example is they use sand so you can turn this up maybe even like something like that. And then you can crank the, the colorization. So this works um, a little bit better than the other way, um, but it's still not perfect because as you can see, like the precipitation is still going to cover that up. And I think that that's kind of what happens. Like precipitation will kind of take over the displacement. Um, but we can change this again. And a lot of people I feel like don't know this, but Lumion actually does have a snow texture. So what you can do is you could just put this on the ground and then, I mean, I like to turn the map scale up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. And, you know, if you go into the precipitation, it's still like this, but you can kind of adjust these so that like, you know, you can have it so that it's just like, a, if you put it all the way up, it'll kind of cover up. Or so if you put it all the way in the middle, I don't know why it works like that, but it'll kind of cover it up. But if you kind of go like this, you can get sort of like different layers of snow and you can kind of make it match. So, cause I think if you go precipitation phase, you can turn up the quantity and then the particle size. And now you like, that's kind of just a quick example. But as you can see now, we have the snow, but we also have realistic snow on the ground. And maybe I'll actually go into movie mode quickly just to kind of give a little example of that. So maybe we'll just do this, crank that up to like 10, we'll go to precipitation. Um, and now that this is like, as I said, um, kind of like that ground plane, we'll turn this to just be about here because you, you can get it obviously so you can kind of adjust how much you want on it but if you go like this um it kind of makes the ground look a little more realistic but the, the, the trees don't so you want it somewhere like in this range i think and i think that that looks a lot better you can adjust like the, the snow underneath um or if you're just fine with this it doesn't matter basically whatever you do i just don't think that you should have the um i just don't think you should have the 3d grass like in my opinion this looks far more realistic um and even with these little pieces of grass over here that kind of is more what you would expect um, so yeah, like this is, this is in my opinion, how you should be going about doing the snow. You should not have 3d grass on it because as I have mentioned in previous videos, 3d grass is probably the worst thing for render times. Um, so maybe as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this one out and see how long this takes to render to exactly 10 seconds. And then I'm also going to do 10 seconds with the 3d grass on. So you can not only see the difference in quality, but also the time it takes to render. So I will do that now and we will check back in a minute.
Yeah, so um, I hope that um, I hope that everyone found that video interesting. Um, this is just something that I've kind of noticed throughout, um, you know, looking at some Lumion renders. I've noticed this with people that are um, obviously beginner Lumion users. I've also seen with people that are advanced Lumion users. Um, you know, in my opinion, um, you could get away with using the landscape grass because I think that that is a lot better on render times, but I still don't think that that looks right. Um, you know, maybe if you had like snow with a couple blades of grass like sticking out, that may look a little more realistic. Um, but I, I don't think that having like a, a white lawn that looks like it's almost been spray painted, um, I don't really think that that looks like snow. So I think that especially in the example of the 3D grass, you are taking five, six times longer for just this patch. So so something that's this big um, will take roughly uh, six times longer for this much 3D grass, which let's be honest, it isn't that much compared to what I've seen some people using. Um, so yeah, it, in my opinion, it's just not worth it. Like you can put pretty much any texture, as I said, onto it. Just, um, just yeah, if you're gonna use the precipitation, just throw something on that isn't gonna stick through um, because like that is, like I said, like that's not a ton of grass. Like it may not, you know, it's just, it's like a small patch, I guess, but like this can just destroy your render times. And in reality, it's not adding anything to it because you want to cover it up anyways. Um, so this is kind of like the example of, um, in my reflections video where, you know, you're throwing reflection planes onto things and it's not really increasing your quality, but it's, it has a very, very, um, high cost on the performance of your computer. Um, so this is just a little trick that I, uh, I kind of played around with. Um, so yeah, if you found this trick helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that red subscribe button um, below the video and also uh, click the bell so you can be notified when I make more videos. If you are already subscribed, uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much for supporting me uh, over the last five months. I've really enjoyed making videos uh, and hopefully I will have even more content coming in the new year. So um, yeah, happy holidays to everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.